Hey guys, welcome back to Sneaky Sensei here on YouTube. Okay guys, so we're still with Alan in Alan Wake in the woods actually and we need to get to the Andersons farm to find the message. Also, a bit of a quick side note, um, I did contact the manufacturer people and they did go with me through a couple settings. So, touch wood, touch wood, we should not have any more problems. If we do, they did say though, in that case then, could you please bring the desktop back into the main store and we can have a further look for you. So, fingers crossed and touch wood, it's okay. And... I have severely missed you guys. Yeah, I'm not too really sure you guys understand of how much I have severely missed you lot. Because, like, honestly, though, a year away from gaming or from, like, streaming, you know, life kind of gets a little bit boring sometimes. I'm going to say at least. Ah, dang it. No, go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, there's a page. Yay! Give me the page. Oh, shut up. Please. I've dealt with you guys before. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Ooh. Okay. That was kind of scary, wasn't it? I'm going to say at least. Stop it. There we go, there we go, excellent. Is there any coffee? Coffee! Sensei, you can't drink coffee, it gives you a headache. Yeah, I kinda know, oh good god. Hey, stop that! Don't you dare hit Sensei! Oi! Oi! Mean! I just wanted a cup of coffee. Oh good god. Yeah, I knew, I knew that was gonna freaking happen. Dang it! Stop it! Why do we always gotta come off to Sensei for? I don't really understand this. Oh, so I'm only hoping that the Argatos is gonna be a okay. The shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Oh, do, oh, do. Actually, I'm really hoping, yeah. That today, well, actually, in this episode in particular, we can actually get back to uh, um, on, on track. I mean, okay, that's one of I was meant to say. No spoilers. No spoilers. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hands shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Okay, so he finally caught up with you guys. Okay, I see, I see. Fair enough. Yes, wonderful, got you. Now, which way is which? So I'm just trying to find you which way is which. There we go, we're probably going to go back down this way. Okay, excellent. Yay, wonderful. Is there anything... No. No, nothing. Dang it. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Turn, so you trust no one in the dark. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah, I can see him. I can see him. I can see him. Yep. Yeah, yep, 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 
yep, yep, yep, yep, yep, yep. Ice for them, ice for them. Ah, crap. Go away! Ha ha, you missed. Sensei, how many times have I told you? Yes, stop provoking them. For some reason, though, I always end up provoking them so much. Oh, crap. Hey! Stupid. Don't you dare do that. Oh, good, 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 good. Hey, meanie. Oi, 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 daddy. Oi, 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 oi. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Get back, I say. Get back. Sorry. I got scared. I got scared. I got scared. Sorry. I got scared. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Hmm. Touche. 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 Okay, people been camping. So we got a campfire, a couple of beers, a couple of tents. Oh, and coffee. Thank you. No, but seriously, I love camping. I really love camping. I do so much. But actually, if you ever guys gonna go camping, and I say this, ahead. it wasn't far. If it was Barry. I would see the damage soon. And I say this with 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 open heart, okay? Because I want you guys out there to stay safe and have a fun time. If you have a dog, please take him with you. Take him with you. Because honestly, the one thing I've learned about dogs is that they are great. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Oh, okay. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Oh, I see. Okay, fair enough. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. It was Thomas Zane. He was helping you out. Yeah, so, no, no, no. One of I was saying here that it's a great thing if you have a dog with you for protection. Take them for protection because I've heard some scary stories about when people have gone gone camping and, like, middle, middle of the, the, the night, like, other people have, like, tried to adopt other people. Oh, shut up. Double flat, double flat. Ah! that is the only safest way I can say so yeah so even if you guys have a dog please take them with you yeah just take them with you just for extra precautions okay yes someone had left a Wonderful. gun behind now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm Tell me about it. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Actually, honestly though, why does that send a, a chill down my spine? Like, um, they had blood on their hands and they fought these shadows before. Why are you so seriously? Even the, the, the metaphors are kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, at least. The Takens are, f uh, are a filters. I I'm sorry, I can't, I can't read that. I'm so sorry. I'm being honest with you guys. Oh, 
Well, it's a good thing now I've, I have a weapon and now I can, you know, get to that house. Yeah, you're just pretty annoying, you guys are. Okay, fine. Somebody behind you, Sensei. Something way up. Okay, there's actually so many of them. Honestly, they're, they're not gonna leave me alone, so let me just take care of them. Thank you. Dude, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh, crap. Oh, you have Susie got me freaking kidding me. Seriously, Billy? This was never inside the job description. Well, ish, kind of, I want to say at least. Oh, at least though you managed to like slip through. <sighs> Wonderful, excellent, thank you. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Okay, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry? Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! What, what, what are you? What are you? Ah! No! No! I'm sorry! Ah! Ah! Okay, what was that all about? Let me just get upstairs. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway not me I'm innocent oh no rest in peace Godspeed speed okay uh hang on if he's danny that must have been danny's okay okay now that's fine hmm something came into the window okay fine something a bit weird i'm gonna say at least i've run through every possible course in my head if i continue like the dark presence wants me to the story i'm writing won't save alice it's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. 
Yeah, you, you, you're, you're talking about cause and effects. You're, you're, you're talking cause and effects. I've spoken about this before, and the greatest example I can give you guys, if anyone else out there has seen Inception, and Leonardo DiCaprio's movie of Inception, that is one of the best uh, examples I can give you guys, because that movie is amazing. I loved, loved Inception. Yeah, pretty much. The front door I would was say. locked. Go for the window then. The my dear was still boy. A good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. Seriously, what is it with them in deers? I just don't get them. Thank you. And then these stairs. No, it's locked. It's locked. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm just gonna search for something else. Yes, I knew there was another page. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Maude had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, that's fine. Just let me have another look around for like anything else. That door was, was, was locked, wasn't it? Okay, no. Mm -hmm. Hey, right, come on, dude. Let's just get into the car, please. And our house. Yeah, this is where, where they go to the bathroom. Um, indoors, there was no plumbing, so you had to go outside. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Copy. Sorry, sorry, one second. Thank you. Actually, what does it do? That's the question. What do these, these copy do, actually? I've been collecting them, and I... I really don't know what it does. Let's see, sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. I saw something, I saw something. Yes! More supplies. Are you kidding me? Is it me? Can you hear somebody breathing? Thank you. What was upstairs, out of a curiosity? Nothing. 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 Don't flab it. Oh. 
Okay, so with that, I'm so sorry. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the oh. woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give them a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM. Hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Oh, how sweet can you get? I'm sorry, but how sweet can you get? If somebody looks a bit confused, just get them inside and notify the sheriff. And if they look confused, come on folks, give them a hand. Oh, that was so kind of him. That is literally the most sweetest thing I've ever heard. Uh oh. Get back upstairs, get back upstairs. If you get back in, into that into that room, you might have a fair chance. Go in the light. That much even stupid than come into the light. Can I literally lock that door, please? And there's no windows? What gives? Right now, this moment, thank you very much. Okay, cool. So, yeah, they were completely stupid than they even were. Sorry, guys. Please do pardon the, um, the swearing. But sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes it gets really, really scared sometimes. Okay? Love you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's just take this card instead, actually. Kind of makes life a lot, lot easier. Thank you. Dude, which way are you going? Careful! Dang it! Sorry. And yet, Sensei does not have a license just yet. Oh crap, you came the wrong way, dude. told me as well that I've got achievement so thank you well that's one way of doing things I'm gonna say at least actually isn't it Excellent. Saved. Well, ish kind of, I'm gonna say at least. Oh man. If you guys have been uh, following me for some time, okay, you guys should know, yeah, that I hate, I hate scarecrows. Uh, so thanks to Jeepers Creepers. I hate that freaking guy. I hate him so much. Seriously, that movie scared the living daylights out of me that movie did I don't know what it was about him but it was I think it was the cosmetics or it was the makeup or how they brought the creature to life and it was like really really scary 
for yours truly. Shit. Sorry, sorry, I, I do apologize. Excellent. So I think that's all nice and done. Uh, anything? No, 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 uh -uh, no, nothing. So I'm looking for some manuscript pages. I'm just looking for some manuscript. What the hell? Uh, th that, that, that's not. That can't be. Okay, no offense, but that, but that was that was unexpected. That was seriously unexpected. Whoever those graves were, bless them. I was just looking for some manuscript pages. Didn't mean to, to disturb the, 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 the graves. Hey. Okay, that's something odd. I never knew about that. Are you seriously kidding me, dude? We play this game like bazillion times, and now this happens to you? Sorry, guys, I'm so sorry. One second, please. Got a notification. No, no, sorry, no, no. Uh, I'm just waiting for a friend to text me back, and she hasn't texted. I just hope to God she's okay. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Al! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! God damn!
It's giving me. It's it's. it's Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I really do love the, um, the trophies. Or the achievement. I think you did there, Bavi. You did something there, mate. Fucking roll, I love that. Okay, awesome. So yeah, that was awesome. That was because he was fantastic. Right, let me see if there's any any more batteries I can get. Then guys, I am so sorry. We are calling um hey, we're gonna call this there, okay? The yeah, one sec, one sec. I knew there's another page around here. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think riders were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Yeah, even I did not know what of his crime was either. Because even even that was like a little bit weird to me as well. Um, okay then guys, and I'm really am sorry though, but this is where we're gonna end this episode here. I'm so sorry. Because honestly, um I really love I really love doing these half an hour videos just for you guys and just trying to pop them pop them out for you for you, okay? Um so yeah, coming back to this game earlier, I'm a huge fan. I am a, a literally a huge fan of Alan Wake. I, I also, I'm a big fan of camping as well. And one of what I was saying about earlier about camping is that even if you guys do decide to go out camping, please, please, please be extra safe, be extra careful. And if you have a dog, please take him with you. It's great if you've got a German Shepherd, if you've got a Labrador, if you've got a St. Bernard's, well, actually, St. Bernard's, they are quite massive and quite drooly, but my goodness, are they so cute. They are so cute. I love St. Bernard's, actually. Um, funny sort of story, actually. Um, nearly got my butt kicked by my mum. I was saying to my mum, yeah, how about, how about getting a St. Bernard's? She's like, which is that? And then my sister goes, you remember the film Beethoven? Mum's like, yes, I know which one you're talking about. That pup. And my mum's like... Would you like to live or would you like to die, child? The choice is yours. <laughs> like, I would like to live, please. <laughs> so I'm so after a German Shepherd, okay? I still want a German Shepherd. But seriously, if you guys do go camping, please take them with you, okay? And also, upon your camping trips, be extra safe and just have fun, okay? So on that note, then, once again, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. So next time, probably catch you guys on the next episode then, okay? So take care. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you, guys. See ya. Bye.